Hello and peace greetings everyone. This is an, another episode of the Insights with Transformation Leaders. I am so thrilled and excited to have an awesome speaker from US, Jonathan, Jonathan George from, welcome Jonathan. Thank you so much for having me. It's so good to be here. Yes, it is. It, it is indeed. This is a project of Go Global Business School, and we are interviewing and speaking with, exchanging ideas and sharing about the wisdom that these transformation leaders have on this channel that Go Global channel uh, has been doing for a few weeks now, even though we have conducted more than 400 over webinars and online series and interviews over the last year. This series was recently launched to impact globally the transformational leaders journey that has been unfolding for them. We love to brainstorm with them and see what's possible for humanity out of their sharing. So friends, Jonathan George has been spending 20 years of his life creating the rock star personal brands for celebrities and entrepreneurs and influencers. His clients has been over 150 million followers online. So he has created all these work for his clients. And Jonathan is the CEO of the Unleash Your Rockstar. I love that name. Look at his mic. So cool, right? And a personal, it's a personal branding agency and has been having this whole model of growing people around the world. And as a thought leader to personal branding, Jonathan is disrupting. Definitely, he's a disruptor. We're going to talk about that. Not only how people think on the topic, but also how schools and corporations are developing individuals for a more confident, healthy, and successful outcome. He is known, he's known as the human hit maker. Wow, that's a cool name. We're going to talk about that because of his ability to identify, extract, and cultivate business people. And that is very powerful for all of us. And the brand into people's brand into rock star status for their highest potential of authority, impact, and success. I'm so, so happy and privileged that you are with us today, Jonathan. Thank you so much for having me. I'm, I'm looking forward to this conversation. Yes, and I'm so excited. You know, this word disruptor, how does that come about? I mean, well, who is a disruptor? Because this is kind of used around the world, but who is a disruptor in your mind? You know, to me, a disruptor is someone who goes against the status quo of how things have been done. You know, it's like we live in a world, uh, it doesn't matter where you live in the world, there's just the way that it is done, right? And you don't question it, you don't say no to it. And, you know, business is losing, businesses are losing and losing and losing because they are not going against the status quo. They're not stepping into the new nature. The, every generation comes with something else. They come up with, they have something that's very special about them. And so when you think about it, that, um, you know, for me, personal branding and, and how I think of personal branding, and it was always, I came from the music industry. So, you know, in, in the entertainment industry, so it's building up all these celebrities, all these superstars, and one of the things is, you know, everybody thinks of personal branding uh, of, of like photos and you got a website and some fonts and some colors <laughs> that, you know, I mean, that's brand identity, but that's not personal. That's not your personal brand, right? Those are parts of the personal brand. But at the end of the day, I look at personal branding and disrupting how, how people look at that and view that process to me is, is for me, personal branding is who you are at your core it is the essence of you right i always say that it's like the hook of a song hello i'm I, you know rock star right because i came from the music side so i relate everything to music so you think of a song that you love and you think of your brand like that song it's like the hook of that song the thing that you will sing over and over and over right so if you are like a hook of a song when you walk in the room are people turning you up or are they turning you off and so you got to think about the brand as that hook of a song. It's the it's the emotional aftertaste that you're creating for somebody to experience you. And it doesn't matter what business you go into. It doesn't matter what you decide to sell tomorrow. It doesn't matter if you decide to uh, sell real estate or one day be a model. It doesn't matter. Your personal brand stays the same. 
And so I am, I'm disrupting how people think of a personal brand and how every, we live in a digital world. You must be an influencer. I don't care if you're dating. I don't care if you're searching for a job, if you're in college, if you're in high school, you need a personal brand in order to be successful in today's market. So that's how I'm disrupting this. You know, this is so important right now because the whole social media everywhere is kind of flooded with so much of details. And people have always been talking about, is it personal brand or business brand? And uh, I have been behind a brand for a long time, behind a brand. <clears throat> and, and that has served me. And there are times it's like, so where is my brand? That's always been the question that goes, especially in the business world right now. You have been impacting for a refreshers, like our audiences are a mix of entrepreneurs and uh, trainers, coaches, mentors, and business leaders. You work with young celebrities. That is- Yeah, well, I, st I started out with young celebrities, right? And so, yes. but what I realized is that I started off in my space and my client had uh, a million followers. She was number one on the country arts, uh, country charts. And so, and then it's just grown from there you know, one person after another, after another, after another. And I didn't know it was personal branding. That's just what we call developing an artist, right? Developing talent and, <laughs> and you're creating this, right? And then it's like this word I heard, I was like, personal branding? What's personal branding? I was like, what do you mean? I was like, I've been doing personal branding for, for 17 years. And so I went to uh, Bali to go to this event and it was a mastermind and um, I walked away, there was 12 women there and I walked away with 11 of them as clients. They asked me if I could brand them. And I was like, well, of course I can brand you. This is easy. You know, I was like, I've been doing this forever. And that's what started my journey with, uh, uh on this whole, where I've been going, you know, trying to figure out this next phase of my life. And to me, I only sure rock star is my business, but it's also a movement because I truly believe that every single person's voice matters. And if you're not stepping up in the confidence of who you are, if you're not shining a light onto all that you are, all that you have to offer, you're not only doing yourself a disservice, but you're also robbing me of my blessings. So I need for you to step up powerfully, not, not just as behind a brand, not to step behind somebody else, uh, by if you're working for Coca-Cola, no, I need for you to step up powerfully into who you are because you matter, not your company, you, you matter because you can leave that company tomorrow, right? And if you haven't developed who you are in your voice and, and, and I look at everybody as an influencer, right? We're all influencers. And, and you got to think about it as like, there's, there's big influencers, there's big, massive voices, and then there's micro influencers. And those are the, the people who have smaller communities, but they're still influential. You think about it. If you're influencing a group of 10 people, you're still an influencer. And so it, you're on mute, by the way. Yeah. There you go. Honestly, there you go. when you look at um, influencers, we have to be an influencer even for ourselves. It's just like a leadership, right? If we can't influence our mind, our heart to what we can do with our life, I mean, that's such a, a, a important part of a human being. I'm so right. happy on that. And, you know, and one of the things is that, you know, you, you, you work with so many coaches and uh, speakers, thought leaders, right? But you have to think about it. How, and, and I always say that your personal brand, the, de the depth of your brand will depend on the depth of your goals. The depth yeah. of your brand is going to depend on the depth of your goals, right? So when when you've got uh, somebody who's trying to be a thought leader or an, uh, an entrepreneur or a coach, you've got to raise so far above the noise because you got to think there's so much noise out there. And the only thing that's going to separate you from everybody else is what I call being the blue duck in a sea of yellow ducks. How do you stand out? Mm. And the only way to do that is by building your personal brand. And yes, I mean, I we are equipped, we build out like all of the, all the parts of the brand, right? But at the end of the day, we have to make sure that you're standing up in front of that brand and being you. And then when you're on Instagram and you're speaking powerfully about what you believe, it's got to be you. 
It can't be somebody else speaking for you. You can't be trying to hide behind your art. You can't be hide, hide behind your, your thoughts. You've got to, it's you. At the end of the day, it is you that's got to stand up there because it's, we, we're, we have passed this point of purchasing from companies. We want to have a human to human connection. We want to purchase from people uh, or companies that we believe in, that have a purpose, they're purpose driven, that they stand behind, uh, they stand for something greater than the dollar bill. You know what I mean? And so you have to think about, uh, you got to think about that as an entrepreneur, as a CEO of a company. And, you know, even like big companies, we're going into companies and corporations and breaking through that because I remember, uh, I don't know if you know who Simon Fuller is. He created Spice Girls. He created uh, American Idol and all the idols across the world. But yes, right. And so he brought me in to develop a boy band that he had. And so I, I developed that band and there were, there were five boys. Well, each boy had to have their own personal brand within the brand in order for everybody to be a star and make that brand stand out, right? All of them had to be a superstar. I don't know what you're doing, uh, Jonathan. You just gave me goosebumps. <laughs> you just gave me goosebumps. I mean, like you are causing some huge shifts in humanity i mean like i am feeling it so strong about this please go on please go on i'm just no, no well it's exciting right because when you think about it it's like everybody is important and so what i realized that corporations you can have a team of people but if your team is not built out with pers each person have a personal brand have a voice then your company is not going to survive this digital market that we live in, this digital age that we live in, yes. you are going to be crushed by the, uh, the smaller companies that are speaking up. So I am, uh, IBM did, a, did something where uh, I think they had 5,000 employees where they didn't do any advertisement and they just got everybody in there um, that worked in the company to promote something they were doing online okay. just to their, oh. their, their markets. Well, no they, way. yeah. That, and they and they did like 50,000 their first week, right? Without doing one penny of advertisement. And here's the incredible thing is that in my business, I have spent less than $5,000 in marketing and advertisement, less than 5K. And I ran four franchises of schools across the country, artist development companies, and I built very successful businesses and with less than 5K. And it's all been built on personal brand. Oh on my, my God. Personal brand, right? Oh my God. That is so awesome. You know, when you look at the conversation about getting into without marketing cost, I think that is what, what needs to be innovated on, especially in this part of the world. And most trainers and coaches actually, you know, honestly will go out of job because many of them are teaching how to do these Facebook marketing and all of that. And just a shout out to you. I mean, I mean, to those of us who, who know about what we do, Go Global Business School, we created this strategic marketing in a different way. And we got about 3,000 leads in less than two months just by doing strategic marketing without any a fee to anybody. But your model is like, it's a long lasting strategy because it kind of grooms people from inside. And that's yes. so powerful. That's so powerful. Yeah. And that's, and that's the other thing, you know, I, is I say this stuff so much, so I apologize if I ever repeat myself, but <laughs> you know, cause I Please. say it so much, but is that, you know, I really do. I look at it as personal development. It's just, it is, it is, it is human what? development because when you like, there's a whole part that I have, I have, I have five pillars of the personal brand that have to be built out to be successful. Right. And that top part, uh, and it, the, the, the lead part is the heart of the brand. That is where the rock star is born. That is where the rock star is created. And, you know, because that is, that is where all of, that's where your gift slides, it's your story. It is your why. It is everything about you. It's the great parts. It's the messy parts. It's all those things that make you so powerful of who you are. And so when you think about that, the heart of the brand, the rock star, you know, you've got to do a lot of personal development in that space. And I don't care who it is. 
I will have these top CEOs who are making eight billion dollars, right, for companies. They will step up, and they're like breakthroughs are happening, stuff that they they've been pushing backwards into their life and not really stepping up fully and accepting the greatness in their life because they're playing small, because because of fear, imposter syndrome, all the junk that holds us back. And so, you know, when you can dive deep into that and break through that, man, it makes it powerful. I am relating to this so much and I'm having this, you know, this list of people in my mind that the word you say is a step up and stop playing it small. Step up yes. in life, stop playing it small. And you have uh, have clients that have reached mm. millions. Mm. I mean, like you, you wrote that all your clients have reached 100 or 50 million views. So how did no, that? 100, they have 150 million followers online. So okay, they, follow us, you know, sorry. Yeah, yeah. So That's I mean, different. you think about how many the ripple effect that they're creating. So you know, like one of my, one of the my clients, like just hit four million followers on Instagram. Wow. And I mean, that's gigantic. That's just huge, right? And he's not yet a superstar in the world. It's not like he's Beyonce. You know what I mean? And uh, he's just created this incredible thing. But his influence is has turned into something magnificent and here's the thing he's done all of the self work through the years with me and with other people not just me right to get there but uh he's done the work in order for him to be so successful so that he can show up and be powerful in a digital age if you don't really understand the intention of why you're showing up on social media uh, you are going to battle mental health issues, anxiety, depression, you're comparing yourself. There's so much mental health that goes into this digital age because you're, you're disconnected with the world and you're also seeing stuff hit your face so much and you're comparing yourself. Oh, my butt doesn't look like Kim Kardashian's. Oh my God, something's wrong with me, right? Like something strange like that. And all of a sudden these mental uh, issues start happening or we start comparing our chapter one to somebody's chapter 10. You know, people are looking at you and it's like, oh, my gosh, well, I'm not like the doctor. You know, she's doing all these amazing things. I, who am I? I shouldn't be doing this. No. Yeah, you yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. This back talk that happens. And so, you know, I, I think that it's just I, and I didn't share my personal story with you. And I know I've just I've jumped all over the place with you. But no, I, would, I, I, would, I think it's going awesome because you know we we had a couple of stories. I'm still like stuck with the first two. I'm like, oh my god, that's so much you're giving. I'm so beautiful. Tell me, please. Well, you know, I, I I want I love for people to understand why I'm so passionate about this. So in 2000, I was I moved to Los Angeles. I was the grand champion winner on a TV show called Next Big Star with Ed McMahon and it was a, a big singing competition. And I had moved to Los Angeles to be a singer and songwriter. And uh, and that was, you know, internet was hitting big. They did a Google search, I had a record deal on the table. I just had released my first single. I released my music video. You know, I was working on my album. All these incredible things were happening for me. And they did a research and they found out that I was gay. Okay. And when they found out that I was gay, they retracted the contract. And my team tried to get me married to a woman. And, and I just was like sitting there. All I heard was you're not good enough. Mm. Something's mm. wrong with you. You're not good enough. Right. And, and I'm such a positive person in my life. You know, I just, I always break through stuff because I think differently. I always, I think very positively, but it took me back to being a kid being relentlessly bullied for being the creative kid. The one who was sitting there, um, just, you know, always was the jazz fingers, right? The little bit more person who's more yes. extra, right? Creating stuff. I mean, I'm the cre I'm the hyper creative, right? You look at my mic stand, you, everything I have is like, super, I mean, I've got so my, cool. you know, my shirt, my logos everywhere. And, you know, I'm su just super creative. And, and, but I, they called me names. I didn't understand what they even meant, but I knew you're not good enough. And then my dad is a pastor. He's a Pentecostal pastor. And, and, you know, I don't know what it's like in Singapore, but uh, we, it's very religious, right? And yes. so, yes, yeah, uh, too. Yeah. And, and so I, I was the spiritual abuse that I went through and told that I couldn't go to heaven. I could mm -hmm. never receive, you know, receive the blessings. I could never fulfill the calling I had in my life. And again, you're not good enough. 
And so I've been told you're not good enough my entire life on the things that really matter to me, the things that are most important to me. And so here I was at 26 and I was so devastated and I didn't know who I was. I didn't know how to show up. I didn't know how to break through all of this and be successful. So I gave up singing, but I, cause I knew I wasn't going to lie. I was not going to get married and lie to the world. I just, I knew my ethics were, you know, I'm, I'm all about ethics. I'm about being honest and loyal, faithful and true to me, you know? And so I just, I was like, nope, not doing this. And I gave up singing. And during that season of my life, everybody's like, that's so sad, but not to me, because what it did is it launched a purpose in me to make sure that every single person is seen and heard authentically to help people rock the person that they are then rather than trying to change them and make them into something that they're not. And so that is when I started really diving into people. And I want to make sure, you know, and here's the thing is that my story may not sound like yours, but what we all know what it feels like is to not be seen. We all know what it feels like to feel like we're not good enough. Right. And yes. so I want to make sure that every single person on this planet knows their self-worth, knows how incredible they are. No matter what you're walking through in this life, you are powerful and your voice matters and you need to be heard. Absolutely. And so this is why I'm so passionate about what I do. Wow. I, I tell you, my heart was just expanding and expanding. And, and it's no doubt you're on this space with us. I'm like, Talk about transformation. And I love that one word that is sticking on in my mind is authentic. And to give a voice to people to be authentic, I mean, that's off the roof, man. <laughs> off the roof, for sure. For sure. It, it's, it's, I'm going to have to be moving around. My computer's about to die. I was like, what? The okay, battery's sure. about to. Um, so I'm just going to move some stuff around as we're as we're doing yeah, here. I love and, uh, yellow, by the way. It's so beautiful. Uh, oh, yeah, good. <laughs> I love it. I'm so excited. My logo's coming in and it's going to be like my rock star hand with yellow lights behind it. It's, I'm excited for it. So it's going to be amazing. I can't yeah, wait. So I know you have been sharing about this, about the all about the movement. You've said it already. But tell us, why did you make it look like the movement as in unleash your rock star, the movement? I know we've been talking this again and again, but... Can we get into the crunch of the movement? So, you know, for me, um, <clears throat> my goal, four and a half years ago when I went to Bali, I, or four years ago, it was four years ago this month, actually, that I went to Bali and I had like a rebirthing and remembered okay. who I was, right? I remembered my power. I remembered the calling I had in my life, but I couldn't figure out how to do that. And I was listening, you know, my, I was like, I want to be the Tony Robbins for millennials and Gen Z. Yes. But I was like, but right, you know, but it's like, but that terminology was not the terminology that I used for, for, you know, for 17 years at that point, 17 years of developing talent, developing people and being a mentor and a coach to people. And so I wrote my book and, and it was called Unleash Your Rockstar. It is called Unleash Your Rockstar. I haven't, I haven't launched it yet because again, I felt like an imposter. I was like, I'm using terminology that does not fit me. It's not, it's not my soul. And so I literally uh, have gone through this process up until this past year. And, I, and then I realized, oh, I need to do it. I, and rather than personal development, this is personal branding, just like I've always done. Right. And, and realizing that everybody needs a personal brand. We're just it's it's personal development. It's human development, but done with clear intentions with a clear outcome of how we're showing up in the world not just oh let me do some self-development no let me really understand and here's the thing is that i feel like we spend so much time on self-development and i think it's very important don't get me yes. wrong i spent my lifetime on it but there are certain things about personal development that will launch you and catapult you so much quicker and so much faster and i like results I don't like to sit there, you know, if somebody's going to go to coaching sessions, don't sit there and have to go to coaching over the same thing for a year. Let's right. get your results quickly. Let's make that happen fast. Right. And what I found out is that with, with uh, personal, with, with, uh, with 
personal branding, we get clear because people have to show up on social media. They have to show up in the workforce. They have to show up in leadership positions. You have to show up in your business uh, or just in regular life, just like these kids. Another part of our company is that we've started going into uh, school districts and we're not only working with, we're, we're, we're changing from the inside out. So we start with the educators, the staff, we teach them about this stuff and then we take it to the kids. And it is, uh, you know, with our children, you've got to think about it here in the United States, suicide, anxiety, depression, uh, all of these mental health issues rose 37% when cell phones came out, when smartphones came out and it all had to do with social media. And that was 2016 when that came out. So I can guarantee you it's probably up closer to 60% to be quite honest. And so, you know, you think about that and it's like, how do we, overcome these things. So we are going in and teaching social and emotional intelligence mixed with uh, personal branding to understand how do you stand up powerfully? How do you understand everybody else? And how does your brand work within the world today? And so that is what we are working on so heavily and it is powerful. Wow, can you hear me? I think my computer is kind of stuck. I, I hear you perfectly well. Uh, you are you are frozen a little bit sometimes, but I it'll catch up really fast. Like you're okay, okay. but, it's, it's, but I yeah, see my you. screen is kind of going blank. That's why. Anyway, I'm just you. gonna be. I mean, I can go on and on with you on this. I'm. It, you have so much of wealth of knowledge, and it's kind of really. I'm like okay now. My mind is going because we have so many people in the world, especially you know in the younger generations that can be impacted through your work. We're surely going to have be having lots of conversations on this for sure. So as we round off the session, because we can't, you know, hold you back for too long, and and, and this is a thirty-minute show, give us some advices for those who are looking to be rock stars in their life. Give us some advices. What I, what would you tell them? So here's the thing: is that what I know to be true is that most of us don't understand what our gifts and our strengths are. We don't even understand what the flaws are, the things that are going to hold us back. Right. Yes. And I, and I, and I want you to dive deep into if, if anybody's listening and, and like, where do I start understanding who you are at your core, your strengths, your superpowers, your core values, understand having a mission statement written out for the, for the world. So you know how you're staying, you're, you're showing up, right? These are just basic things that we start with. And then being able to tell your personal journey and tell your personal story in a powerful way that you're empowered, it gives you so much confidence. And for me, I am all about building the confidence so that you can come and stand up powerfully, right? And, and you don't have to be a big thought leader. It doesn't have to be that way. No, mm. it's just how do you stand up as a human being and make a difference in the world? How do you raise your vibrational level? And here's the thing, doctor, is that how do you raise your vibrational level in order to make this planet a better place? It depends on you. It depends on me. And it depends on every single soul on this planet. And if you could imagine it's all raising at such a high vibrational level, it's going to change things. And we have to have change. We have to have love in this world. We have to have unity. We've got to have uh, incredible things. We got to save our planet in so many levels. Yes. Yes. I am so with you and you kind of nailed it with the high vibrational level. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's that's, that's what it is. And, and you are doing such a huge service to humanity. Thank you so much, Jonathan. We cannot keep you there. I know you have lots of people with you, but we kind of need to have you around us as well. We're so hey, I would forward. love it. I'm, I'm for it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Global yes. Channel. <laughs> yes, and, and definitely for the business leaders, and you have said it right, especially the small, medium enterprise. I will take it into another session. If not, I'm going to continue this forever with you. I think my heart is just like expanding with so much of details. I can tell you right now, even the work that we have done requires, you know, especially people in Asia and Africa and all this. They Like what you said, the small voices matter. And it's not about big or small. I'm not judging that. It's just that every voice matters and if yes. we can come together and really expand it that's where it's going to be and and we're so happy that you are able to be with us today thank you so much jonathan
Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Y'all be blessed. And I want to shout out to Clubhouse. Thanks to Clubhouse that I was yes. able to connect with you. And, and we're going to have some amazing insights with you. I would love to welcome you to our sessions. By the way, dear friends, the Insights with Transformation Leaders also and many other sessions that we do uh, on Go Global Channel is now running on Clubhouse on a regular basis every week. And it started just this week. And here we have one of this, you know, uh, person that has been, I have been blessed to meet in Clubhouse and it's out here with us sharing his wisdom Really appreciate it, Jonathan. Really, really, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate yes. it. Yes, and if you have not here. been, so, thank you so much. And audience, if you have not been, I know you, you've come right now on the live show as well as go back the recording and listen to it. That is, I think it's a hundred million dollar worth of wisdom there. You cannot not miss it. You cannot miss it, right? So thank you so much once again. And this is goglobalchannel.com. Share this with everyone that you know to impact more lives. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. We'll catch you.